when I came to Canada, I had no education. I did many different kinds of jobs, dishwasher, cleaner, laborer. But I did not want to do this job forever. I wanted to have a job that I can help people. First, I set goals. I work and save money to go to schools. And when I had my education, I found a job that I really wanted, a job that let me help people. In Lebanon, I was a secretary. I wanted to do the same job here. I was learning English, and I started looking for a job. You don't have any Canadian experience? Sorry. No one wanted to hire me. They said I needed Canadian experience. How can I get Canadian experience if no one hires me? I just want to, to so print your one page. One is, one is for your full document and two is for your page. Then I learned about a program that gives training to immigrant women. I trained on computers. I went on a placement. I went out to work for an employer for free. Now I have the job with the university that I enjoy. I work in a museum in Taiwan, and I want to work in a museum here in Canada. No one wants to hire me. They say I have no references in Canada. I have no one who will talk to the employers about my skills. Right now, I'm volunteering. I'm working for no money. My supervisor thinks I'm a good worker. She can be my reference. With the reference, I can get a job that pays. I was a pharmacist in Chan. I want to be a pharmacist here. I need a Canadian license. I'd like to show you my resume. I did not know how to get a license when I first came to Canada. My English teacher told me to talk to a pharmacy professor at the university. The professor helped me. She told me what I need to do to become a pharmacist in Canada. She told me where to send my degrees from China to be compared to Canadian degrees. I'm improving my English, and I will go back to university. I want to be a civil engineer again. I had to wait until my English improved to apply for jobs. Also, you're a civil engineer, are you? Yes. I learned that civil engineers in, in Canada do different kinds of work from civil engineers in Iraq. Now, I am ready. First, I had my documents translated in, into English. Second, I sent my credential to authorities to compare okay, to Canadian job, credentials. Last job was about three years. It's taken a long time to find an engineer's job. I try not to get discouraged. I will never, never give up. If you are in a trade or a profession, you will need to find out how your degrees and credentials match Canada's standards. In most professions and trades in Canada, only members of professional associations or unions are eligible for employment. You may have to pass the professional association's exams or the trade certification requirements. The standards are strict. As a professional, you may be able to get your credentials or degrees appraised in a university that provides this service. There are some agencies and groups serving immigrants which can guide you in what you should do and who you should contact. You must have your papers, such as degrees or diplomas, ready. If you are a tradesperson and have a workbook, get it translated into English. Have specific work references with exact dates and duties you performed in each job. Have your certificates translated to English. In Canada, contact the official provincial government body in charge of trade certification. They can evaluate your documents. 
you could be required to take further training at your own cost to meet Canadian standards.